एवरी वन आर टू दिस टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज येलो फीवर विच इज ऑल्सो नोन एज पीला बुखार इट इज एन एक्यूट फिब्राइल इलनेस विच कॉजेज लिवर डिसफंक्शन रीनल डिसफंक्शन एंड हैमरेज बिकॉज इट कॉजेज हैमरेज इट इज ऑल्सो नोन एज येलो हैमरेजिक फीवर और हैमरेजिक फीवर इट हैज अ हाई मोर्टैलिटी रेट ऑफ मोर देन ट्वेंटी परसेंट इट इज एंडेमिक इन वेस्ट अफ्रीका एंड सेंट्रल साउथ अमेरिका टॉकिंग अबाउट इंडिया इंडिया इज फ्री फॉर्म येलो फीवर येलो फीवर इज नॉट फाउंड इन इंडिया इन येलो फीवर वी हैव वन सीरो टाइप विच फर्दर हैज सेवन जीनो टाइप्स ऑल दीज सेवन जीनो टाइप्स आर एंटीजेनिकली होमोजीनस बट टॉकिंग अबाउट द जोग्राफिकल डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन फाइव ऑफ दीज आर फाउंड इन एफ्रीका एंड टू इन साउथ अमेरिका Now coming to the transmission. For the transmission of yellow fever, the vector is Aedes aegypti, also known as tiger mosquito. It is called as tiger mosquito because of the tiger spots on this mosquito. We have two transmission cycles in this. One is jungle cycle, and one is urban cycle. In jungle cycle, the transmission occurs between monkeys. and forest mosquitoes whereas in urban cycle the transmission occurs between humans and urban mosquito which is this urban mosquito aedes aegypti before we go to the clinical manifestations let's once talk about the pathogenesis in pathogenesis you need to remember after the infection from the mosquito the viruses they replicate inside the lymph node from lymph nodes they specifically go to dendritic cells from these dendritic cells the virus then enters the liver in liver it infects hepatocytes via kuffer cells okay now after it infects the hepatocytes it leads to eosinophilic degradation which re- which causes release of which causes massive release of cytokines this is all you need to know about the pathogenesis virus enters the human body it replicates inside the lymph nodes then it enters the dendritic cells from where it goes to liver and infects the hepatocytes after in fact infecting hepatocytes it leads to eosinophilic degradation which causes release of mass which causes massive release of cytokines that's it now coming to the clinical manifestations incubation period for yellow fever is 3 to 6 days we have two stages in this that is early stage and late stage now if the patient presents to us in the early stage what can we see we can see fever chills headache dizziness myalgia backache nausea vomiting and relative bradycardia now what does this relative bradycardia mean normally what happens is with fever heart rate increases but in this case with fever heart rate decreases that is relative bradycardia it is also known as fidget's sign now if the patient presents to us in the late stage what can we see hemorrhagic manifestations would be there platelet dis- dysfunction can be seen renal dysfunction can be seen and hepatitis can be there in the pathological examination of fever we can see mid zonal necrosis councilman bodies and torres bodies now coming to the lab diagnosis for lab diagnosis we have two tests one is serological test and other is molecular methods in serology we perform igm elisa igm elisa is done 3 days after onset of symptoms it can be false positive in cases of those vaccinated within 30 days and in cases of dengue west nile zika therefore specific test like plague reduction neutralization test should be done now coming to the molecular methods 
in molecular methods we have rt pcr it should be performed within 10 days of onset of symptoms because after this rna becomes undetectable in blood rt pcr detects specific viral nn viral rna that is ns5 region it is more confirmatory than serology now infection to case ratio in cases of non outbreak in non outbreak season is 20 to 1 but during epidemic it reaches to 2 is to 1 bretio index what does it mean number of containers showing breeding of aedes aegypti larvae upon number of houses surveyed in 2000 it is very important and can be asked you in viva or exam or your theory exams now coming to the yellow fever vaccine yellow fever 17d vaccine is a live attenuated vaccine which is prepared in allantoic cavity of chick embryo allantoic cavity of chick embryo strict cold chain is to be maintained that is minus 30 to 5 degree celsius it is stored in lipophilized form it is effective within 7 days and lasts up to 35 years now contraindications in which cases yellow fever vaccine is not to be given in children less than 9 months in pregnant ladies in hiv infection and people allergic to egg why because it is prepared in allantoic cavity of chick embryo so thank you that was all with yellow fever